lots of people are thinking about where John Hopkins is, what position I'm in, who's behind me, what's going on, and uh, you know, a few laps, it was almost like algebra on my pit board, you know, so many numbers and positions and names going on, it was uh, a little bit confusing, uh, quite a few moments out there with the, with the rear coming around on me, and uh, I could see how Michael went down, it was uh, pretty sketchy there up into the Druid's Bend, so I just had to get my head down and, and try to do what I needed to do, and uh, there's a few riders out there that complicate a few things, you know, I'm trying to win the championship, but they're trying to get jobs sorted for next year and, um, and do their own thing, so it's hard because uh, a lot of people will be against it and say, you know, what, why is he pushing you up there, you know, he's, he's not challenging with the championship and he's taking points away for us, but he's racing his own race, uh, the medicine, and, um, and that was it, so I just pushed on and uh, we got, you know, in fourth place, so it goes into the last round now with uh, a two point difference. Um, obviously, it was something that a lot of people here might not realise, but obviously when you came back into the pits and we had a look at your boot, your boot was quite badly damaged. Maybe you can give them a bit of insight into what happened, because even sitting on pit wall and me watching the race lap by lap, we didn't see it happen, so uh, it was quite you know, interesting news for us. Yeah, but when I went out, my boots were pretty much in brand new condition, and uh, unfortunately I high-sided out of the Druid's Bend again, and uh, my foot actually swung all the way around, and my foot got stuck in the back wheel. Um, so, you probably didn't see it on TV, but the boot was all ripped up and then torn up. And um, a few times, Lady Luck was on my side and, uh, and brought us through. So, um, and also, I had a bit of a coming together with Kirkham at the beginning. Um, I think we all know that he knows, you know, what he's been told to do, and that's uh, try and help his teammate Hopkins. And um, you know, he's getting right stuck in there. And uh, unfortunately for me, I've got a championship to worry about because if the championship wasn't there, I'd have got stuck in and given him some back. You know, he, he, he coming to the side. Talk. Everyone loves flight. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, uh, he bent my front brake lever and also uh, knocked the pin out of the lever. So I come around the next lap into Paddock and I saw the championship sort of fly over my head because I thought that's it, that's me finishing. You know, I lost the front on the wet patch, then the rear come around again. So yeah, the eventful, ra eventful race, a lot going on, uh, but a lot to think about as well. You know, you're in an awkward position and. Um, the plan is to try and come away with a trophy at the end of it, so there's a lot of, lot of thoughts that go through your mind, ifs and buts, so just get out there in the next race and give us that game. Well, what I was going to ask you was, obviously, you mentioned the algebra on your pit board earlier, and when you come by on the first or second lap and you saw Hop at 28, I'm trying to, maybe you can tell people what went through your mind when you saw Hop at 28 on the board. I didn't really know, I don't know if, he's, if it was his birthday and he was 28 years old. There's a lot going on, you know, I just, uh, just tried to focus on what I was doing and, uh, you know, before you know it, you're sort of going down the back straight with your calculator out, working out the points and working out the scores. You just got to try and do your race and, and do the job. So, uh, all I know is if there's that blue and white bike in front of me for the race two, I'm not going to win the championship. So, uh, come on, Mike, but help us out, mate. <laughs> no, I'm sure we will.